Welcome to thetowerlight.com. I'm Kyle McLaughlin, news editor here with Tommy Apple Schumacher, man of all trades here at Towson, men's soccer, honors college, and this is the latest thing that Tommy's got on his plate, TABS. Tommy, tell us a little bit about what you're trying to do here. Um, all right, well, TABS stands for uh, Taking Action and Building Support, and is an organization that I just started a couple weeks ago, um, and the whole purpose is solely to collect pull tabs, which is just regular uh, aluminum can tabs uh, from like a soda, for example. Um, and the purpose of the organization is to uh, collect the tabs um, on behalf of the Ronald McDonald House, who has a program that, through pull tabs, uh, take them and give them to the, uh, take them to the recycling center, and uh, you get cash per pound uh, for the aluminum, and that money gets put into the funds of the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, which gets directly put into the families. Um, yeah. So, how did you come up with this? Is this something you've been doing for a while, or is it just new inspiration? Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Kate, came up to me and told me about this, and um, she said, you know, next time uh, you're drinking a soda or whatnot, next time you have people over, just take the, the tabs off of uh, your cans and, um, and start collecting them, because it's for a good cause. And I researched it a little bit, went downtown to the Ronald McDonald House with a couple of soccer buddies of mine, and. Uh, a good friend and we learned that this is a program that is really simple and I thought why not make this um, known throughout Towson I thought this little project would be uh, would be good. About how much does this weigh and how about how much money could you get for one of these uh, tubs here? I don't know the exact amount uh, but I know that um, this is not more than five or six dollars so it's not very much uh, so it may seem like it's not very rewarding but at the same time, the Ronald McDonald House works on solely non-profits, a non-profit organization. So I see it as every little bit counts. So I, I see why, why not? Yeah. It's simple and uh, it's for a good cause. So. And you said you have another one of these back in here. I, 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 between about 30 people who know about this, uh, I'm trying to get more people aware. Um, I say we have about four of those tubs filled, mm -hmm. and that's within a month or so. So, I mean, four tubs of this, I mean, that starts adding up. So the, the more people who know about it, hopefully they can start collecting, and uh, um, every little bit counts. So. And TABS recently received recognition from the SGA, and these are going to start going out to all the residence halls, is that? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be like this exact type, but we're going to have uh, different containers that uh, my vision is kind of have it put on every single floor of every single residence hall so that... Um, students can come back from wherever they are, if they've collected uh, tabs, they can just put them in a the little container and um, my organization would go around and collect these and um, put them all into one big pile and eventually get enough that we can take them to the recycling center and get a nice little uh, check that can go to the Ronald McDonald House. And as you mentioned, well as I mentioned at the beginning, this is just one of the many different programs you're involved here at Taos and men's soccer, you guys another couple good seasons ahead of you. Yeah, pretty good. But uh, knowing our programs like these more so than the stuff out on the soccer field, not maybe more so, but in addition to that, to show really well-rounded. Um, I don't know. I've always, uh, I've always wanted to perform on the field, but at the same time, I've always um, thought what I do off the field is kind of what's more important. And um, this is just one little program that I heard about and thought was really simple. Um, so I thought, why not do it? Why not get more awareness? Because um, anything that I think can help someone is is important. So, how many groups are you involved with? Or I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's see. I, I know I'm a tutor uh, for the freshmen over in the athletics uh, Towson Center. Um, I'm a growl mentor uh, for incoming freshmen. Um, I'm involved with Paws. Uh, representative of the soccer team. These are uh, all athletic. That. That's all the athletic, yeah. And then I'm also a student ambassador giving tours. Mm -hmm. Just started that recently. And um, and yeah, soccer and honors college. And uh, now I got this little, this little project. So. And my understanding, you went to Leadership recently. Yeah, and that's also, I also went to What leadership. was that experience like? Oh, that was amazing. That was great. Uh, it's a bunch of, um, bunch of really talented uh, individuals with open minds uh, from all different backgrounds and uh, when we brought us all together we all kind of had uh, our visions, that's what the whole week was about, is having a vision and coming back to Towson and uh, implementing them and um, uh, I, think it's, I think it's a great experience that I recommend it for uh, everybody. How did you get involved with that? Um, just I saw it in the Tower Light actually, saw, uh, saw a little article and um, 
thought why not apply, sounds kind of interesting. I did a lot of that leadership stuff in high school um, and thought why not do it here in college as well. So. In high school and that's Ramstein, correct? Ramstein, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I grew up in grew up in Germany. So. Okay. Parents military? Uh, my background? mom's a teacher on the military base, so okay. um, I was born in Frankfurt and grew up there playing soccer and went to the school on the, uh, the air base there and um, yeah, graduated from Ramstein High. Okay. So. Great. So, what can, do we have a goal set? Do you have some sort of vision or is it just let's see how big we can well, get this? Well, what was really just, it was kind of discouraging was when uh, Josh Harden over at the Ronald McDonald House told me that um, what I had in mind was that I could get this organization started and eventually write one of those big golfers checks and mm -hmm. kind of have a, kind of like a big deal and give it to the Ron McDonald House. Mm -hmm. But he told me that the whole state of Maryland collected uh, about $4,000 last year. So when I heard that, I was like, oh man, what can one university do? But the more I heard about it, a lot of people are excited about it and want to help out. And like I said, simple and, you know, why not do it? So uh, I'm thinking uh, between $500 and $1,000 would be great if more, you know, what the heck, we'll try it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I just really want this to kind of be like a continuing thing because there's always going to be cans around. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's also great about it is that Towson's going green and this is environmentally friendly. It's all about recycling. So uh, there's a lot of different aspects that, you know, can kind of bring bring it all together. And so we'll see what happens. And along with just the tabs, can students contribute to Ronald McDonald House pretty easily? Yeah, I think that'd be, that'd be great. I mean, if they know that a lot of tabs aren't... Um, aren't a big help, I mean they do help, but uh, if they want to donate uh, a couple of bucks here and there, I mean that's, everything goes back into the Ronald McDonald House and those families need it more than anyone, I think, you know, so. And is there a good way to get in touch with you as far as how the people can get involved with this? Um, yeah, if they, um, if they want to get in touch with me, they can, uh, they can email me, uh, I know I have a tabs group on Facebook, all they got to do is type in tabs, uh, and. All caps, period, separated? Just, no, you know, just. T A B S, just tabs. You just type it in there. A uh, picture will come up with a whole bunch of uh, tabs, and you join that group. I send out messages every now and then, and uh, I'm open to any comments, any ideas, anything to kind of make this thing uh, successful. Like, like I said, I want I, I want to be gone and have this still be here because uh, it's you know it, it could make a difference. So, so this could be the Apple Schumacher legacy. No, well, I don't know. It's a Towson University thing. So okay, great. <laughs> we'll, well see what happens. Thanks a lot, Tommy, for stopping by. Thank you. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> Good luck with this. All right. Thank you very much.